Hello everybody, Morbtron here, and today we are looking at a fusion rifle that was added in for Season of Dawn, Season 9. You can get it through the Sundial, you can also get it through completing bounties from the Obelisks. It is the Gallant Charge. Now this thing, short version of it, is it's basically a solar air intel. It can get some really good traits. Now it is missing one trait that a lot of people really love on an air intel, and that's backup plan. You cannot get back a plan on a Gallant Charge, unfortunately, but luckily enough for somebody like me, I personally don't like backup plan. Um, I love tap the trigger on a fusion rifle because every time that you fire the weapon, tap the trigger goes off because it's initial trigger pull and every shot is initial trigger pull on a fusion rifle because it's a single shot weapon. Now in this column right here where I have Grave Robber, there are a couple options that could be considered better. There's auto-loading holster, demolitionist, and hip fire grip could all be considered better, um, but you can reload kills with this or reload the magazine with melee kills. So if you have to clean somebody up, or if you just happen to have it out and punch somebody in the face, it reloads it for you. Um, now in this column over here, of course, you can also get rampage, and the reason why I have two, you can select from here. Once you get farther along in the season pass for the season, uh, the weapons that you get from the sundial will have an extra trait you can swap to back and forth if you so choose which makes it easier to hunt for god roll weapons so yay uh, mine happens to be a range masterwork i put a counterbalance stock mod into it to just make it easier to use a fusion rifle um, and i chose small bore over hammer forged rifling i could get a little bit more range out of it but at the loss of some stability and honestly this thing has enough range as it is as you see here, I've already got some decent amount of kills with it in the Crucible. I've been using it over my air until, uh, not for any specific reason other than just to get more acclimated with a weapon. As you can see here, comparing my air until, which I consider my personal god roll, to the Gallant Charge, uh, my air until has snapshot, and Gallant Charge cannot get snapshot. Um, air until has less handling, but because of snapshot sights, does not matter and the reload is a little bit better, and so is the stability. Now, how these two operate, they feel exactly the same. Their charge time is the same, their damage is the same, their range between these two specific rolls is the exact same. So when I say this thing is literally just a solar version of an Arantil, I mean it. It is literally just the solar version of an Arantil. So automatically, I love it. And that's basically my review for it. It's amazing. Get your hands on one. It took me a while to get a god roll version of it, uh, but this one would work pretty good in PvP with tap the trigger, and I can switch it over to Rampage and go a PvE mode, and even go like increased magazine size over range there, just for more PvE friendliness, and it would actually work out pretty well there as well. So if you get yourself a roll like this, definitely hold on to it. It is definitely worth a while, even though it does not have backup plan, and it is a slow charge time. It's still worth it. Well, let's jump into the Crucible and see exactly what we can do. The build that I'm going for with this, basically the whole season, has been Code of the Siege Breaker with uh, Phoenix Cradle because I absolutely love this exotic and the way that Bottom Tree Sunbreaker works now. Um, and I'm using the Antiope D, and I was using Deathbringer, although I don't think I got a single kill with it because I don't think I picked up heavy ammo maybe once or twice. Uh, but yeah, this Antiope works really well pairing with these fusion rifles uh, because you can whip it out real quick. It's got a decent amount of range on it. It's not, you know, a god roll by any means, but it can clean up targets pretty easily. And uh, yeah, let's hop into Crucible. All right, we got Clash on a very long rangey, not very short rangey map. Um, so we'll see what we can do. I'm just going to try to get up in people's faces, and if all else fails, I have a pulse rifle. Mm-hmm. I love those legs that take away your radar. I, uh, I like the radar, and things that take away the radar make me a sad panda. That's fine, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll just roll with it. You know, hunters have their shitty cheese, just like every other class does. That was a, that was a bad call on your part, sir. Alright, let's go on. Uh, where did that guy come from? 
I am extremely confused as to where that hunter just magically zerped into existence inside my butthole, but that's that's fine. I guess it just comes with the comes with the territory of being a titan, I guess. Just hunters are just all up in you sometimes. There's somebody being a very crouchy boy over here. That guy almost ate it. This dude just just appears out of nowhere. It's fine, I guess. Just have to watch my radar for a hunter that just magically appears on top of me, I guess. That guy died. I totally helped. I think somebody dropped an orb over there, but... Alright, now we need to watch the radar for this nimbly-bimbly hunter that... I'm gonna. It's the that's the hunter that has those stupid boots that get rid of your fucking radar. I don't like him. Go to hell, sir. Okay, you know that's fine. Whatever. I'll just have the enemy team spawn on top of me. Reload that. I guess we're pushing over here. Mm-hmm. Cool shotgun, bud. You did it. Number one A+. Plus. Okay, apparently he died. Suck it, Hunter. That was slightly rude. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's fine. I killed that hunter. I'm, I feel better about myself. <laughs> it's amazing how uh, being just a little bit petty in this game can make you just feel so good sometimes. Ooh, okay, I got... an arrow to the face. That's not how... Guards in Skyrim got injured. They took an arrow to the knee. So I will pass on the arrow to the face. But I will hit that guy. And that guy. Only five minutes left. Oh, that hurt, and yeah, I was way too low on health. I was way too low. If I hadn't gotten body shot there, it would have been good, but I got body shot. Because people are really good at this game, and they can hit their head shots. They're really good at it, actually. Uh, let's see, how long until power ammo? Good, like 20 seconds or so. Uh, let's just not get our heads taken off. Let's go over here. Get out of a snipe lane. And kill that stupid idiot using Lord or uh, Last Word. 
That's what we'll do. Get back in the mid here. Mid mappy map. good oh that that almost hurt me way more than it hurt other people take that orb and this energy ammo secondary ammo rather whatever whatever you want to call it ah you're dead Ah, you're dead. Three minutes. Just gonna huck that over there. I am your strength, Titan. Oh, I'm a dead Titan. No, I'm not. We're good. We are 100% golden, is what we are. Got him. Or I mean, I ha oh, okay. Nothing. That's fine. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just catch an arrow to the face. Hmm. Hmm. Priest of Lord Harambe, just cowering around the corner with his with his mind bender, his ambition. Like, no, please help me. Oh, that Titan just got annihilated. Got him. The range in this thing is a little bit ridiculous. Mm, cannot range a bow, though. Let's come over here. We try to catch some people off guard. We've been doing pretty good for uh, being like a close range map. Oh, the power is up. We totally did not secure that. Let's get out of that lane. Okay, they mutualed. I'm dead. If I would have hit my target with the fusion bolts, I probably would have lived. Maybe. I don't know. I doubt it. No. No thank you, sir. You can W key right at me, though. That's fine. I will take W key as an answer because I can shoot you in the face. Hello. Hello. How you doing, bud? Oh my god. I am very dead. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not very dead. Alright, we even got a trophy hunter sniper rifle from that. That was good. I think that was a good show of the uh, potential of this weapon. Um, so what do we think about it? It's a solar Aaron Till. 31 eliminations. Not as good as a guy with 41, but hey, this guy's probably better than me. That's fine. People can be better than you, and you can be okay with it. But he is using... Oh, he's not, he's not using... Uh, the overpowered exotic, but he is using Astro's Verse. Good, good guy. Good player here. Good player. Digging the sunshot for sure. There we go. The gallant charge. It's pretty neat. This is uh, tap the trigger is something that I enjoy in fusion rifles. I know a lot of people enjoy backup plan. Not my cup of tea. Tap the trigger definitely makes fusion rifles, especially uh, slow firing fusion rifle rifles like Aaron Till, gallant charge, things of that nature. Tap the trigger. Muy bueno. Definitely enjoy it. The range on these things is absolutely absurd. And basically, you can treat this thing as a air until that shoots solar rather than void. Um, that's going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, hit the like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, subscribe. All that shenanigans. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. 
and I will catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.